The way I see it, Gridlock is the most versatile attacking operator in the game. What other operator can cut off flanks and rotations, go for a smoke plant, make your own rotations, have a high fragging potential thanks to the loadout, which I'll get into in a second, and cover the sound of the plant all in one single operator. Usually if I'm not playing gridlock, I'm playing hard breach or something, and I ask somebody else to go gridlock because I know how powerful she can be, I almost always get this response back. Gridlock? No way. She's way too slow. That response honestly boggles my mind, and to me is the lamest reason not to bring one of the most powerful and versatile utility heavy attacking operators in the game. I play three speed, two speed, and one speed operators all the time, and I've never I've never felt like the speed of the operator has ever had an enormous effect on my fragging potential or ability to stay alive. If anything, the gun itself and the utility the operator brings has the largest effect for me on my ability to get kills and put myself in a position to get kills and win rounds. I don't ever think to myself, man, if only I were faster. If I lost a gunfight, it's usually cause I missed. And I don't care what anyone says. Gridlock is a badass operator regardless of how slow she is. Honestly, being a three armor isn't a bad thing. It means you can tank a ton of freaking bullets, which is pretty desirable, don't you think? This is an excellent round to demonstrate just how powerful gridlock really is because I use every single bit of my utility to win. Okay, let's take lobby then. Let's take lobby. Get their uh, blue. What the hell? Who is running out of where? I sure running out of where. Okay, let's see what we got here. Vigil is security side. Alright. We didn't say so many bullets to open a wood barrier. I need more people do. helping with the lobby push. The vigil? Is a shield? One courtyard right by team. Can you open this? Oh, you don't have anything. Can you watch that up there? There's one pink. I don't matter smokes, bro. I'm out of smokes. Give me covering fire. Uh, I'm dead. Just he's by bar, in front of bar. Wait.
Gridlock's F90 is easily in my top 5 favorite attacker weapons. Really, everything about it is good. For starters, the recoil is pretty easily managed. Even when you're just mag dumping or pre-firing, it's still just easy to control. And although the fire rate and damage don't seem like anything special, it really gets the job done quickly. I mean, it seems to kill very fast. It's almost as if the specs aren't accurate, but I'm sure they are. It's just a good gun. It also reloads super fast, even when you're completely completely empty. Overall, it's a very well-rounded weapon, and I always feel comfortable taking gunfights with it. In my opinion, the LMG is okay. It does higher damage, but at the cost of fire rate, which isn't really ideal in my opinion because I usually try to go for headshots anyway. It only holds 60 rounds instead of Capital's 100 rounds. However, Gridlock's version does reload much faster, so there is that. All in all, it's just hard to beat the F90. It's got so much going for it. Second, Secondary options are the Super Shorty and the Gon 6. I haven't had a lot of time to spend with the Gon 6, but I feel that I'll have a really hard time giving up the Super Shorty for it. But you'll just have to make your own assessment. She has Smokes and Breach Charge, which I pretty much always run Smokes, which I'll get to why here in a second. But Breach Charges are always a valuable secondary gadget. The track stingers, especially when you use all three, actually cover an enormous area, making it perfect for stairs and hallways that you don't want to get flanked from. The way they propagate is they start out from the middle and then the outer edges actually release another track stinger layer. You can shoot the center gadget to stop it from releasing more track stingers, but if it gets one of the first track stingers out, it will still release another layer, which is pretty interesting. If you go to shoot or melee the track stingers, they make a ton of noise, which will let you know when you're being flanked. As a defender, if you walk through the track stingers, it will do 10 damage on every new track stinger you step on. And given how many track stingers there are, that's pretty damn good. The track stingers also slow the defenders down, but the attackers are unaffected of course. An awesome part about Gridlock's gadget is that like Capital's firebolts, Jaeger's ADSs will not catch the track stingers. It just goes right past them. Now while Mai's magnet discs, however, will catch the track stingers, and like other gadgets, it will go off after the Wilmai disc disc is done with its animation. The mentality I use when playing Gridlock is usually how can I use my utility to safely plant the diffuser or how can I use my utility to aggress into the bomb site and take control. Since this operator can single-handedly utility dump a bomb site, it's not unlikely that you can go for a plant in the middle of it all. In fact, that is the primary reason I bring Gridlock, because she's so good for planting the diffuser. The smokes to cut off the lines of sight. The track stingers to cover up the sound and to keep them from pushing through the smoke and try and stop you. Watch in this example how I use my utility to both cut off my flank and safely aggress up into the bomb site. Where's the, where's the yeah. Yeah. I told you our Hey bro. Last guy's in the box. Last guy's in the box. I can't think of a better operator to do what I just did in this clip better than Gridlock. Aggressively pushing up into the bomb site while also cutting off my flank so I don't have to worry about it. In this next clip, I easily get the diffuser planted with the combination of her smokes and track singers. Is nobody playing in bathroom right now? And there's nobody playing. There's two guys in kitchen. I kind of might just go for plant. For lobby. One might be kitchen now. What? 
Okay. Just hold angles. It's right on the doorway. Front door. Yes. I can even see this guy. If you're trying to clear out roamers with gridlock and you're suspect of where they are, I've even used their track stingers as a distraction by throwing them down and then peeking immediately after. With the distraction of the track stingers and how loud it is, I've found that it makes peeking your opponents much safer. Hey. Can we also open up this one? There's a guy main stairs. Like on main stairs. Is there is one main stairs? Is there really for hold, hold, sure hold, hold up? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Got an idea. Getting the diffuser down is usually one of the best ways to win an attacker round, and I play to win. If I have an opportunity to plant the diffuser, I will, and I can't think of a better operator to do that single handedly than Gridlock. Let's drone. Nice. I'm gonna drone. Can you just kind of watch me? Okay. okay, there's one here watching. Oh my gosh, I can get him. Hold up. Where was he? Harrison, get on that cam, bro. It's not there anymore. You gotta move it. Okay. Put it back in laundry. Watch this. I'm planting, Carlton. Just play long angle, play long I'll let you know. We're both close to each other. They're shooting this stuff out. Jump up to your right. Jump up to your right. All right. Yes! Let's go!